Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure you get the latest charts, tips, tricks, and techniques using Excel. Alright, today I wanted to take a look at how Excel treats dates when it is related to a line graph in Excel. Uh, so we have some data plotted here. And you can see uh, the data varies in the unit size. We have 400, so uh, that might be uh, as we'd expect it to plot around the 400 line and then go up to 700, down to 600, down to 500, down to 100, then back up to 300, and then back down to 200. However, I've plotted this data over here on the right, and as you can see, what Excel does is it's plotted a straight line and then a very steep line at the end in 2013. So let's take a look at what Excel is doing with this. As you can see, I've got different dates over here in the Excel uh, chart area. It starts out January 1st, 2013, then goes to April. Back to March of 2013, February. Then we go all the way back to 2010, 2012, and 2011. The cool thing about what Excel is doing, let's go ahead and delete this chart so you can see this, is Excel is going to, even though we have our data range set up for our chart in a different order, then actually in a date specific order. Uh, Excel is going to rearrange this and put your data in the chart in the order in which it would normally be via the date. So I've highlighted this range. I'm going to go up to the insert ribbon. I'm going to go to the line chart. I'm going to select a 2D line chart. And let's bring that over here so you can take a look at it. Just delete that legend out of there. Uh, so as you can see, Excel ignores how you have the data set up in your data chart and it's going to plot your data along the axis as though the dates were in chronological order not the way that you have them in your table. Also how Excel is going to treat these dates is it's going to put them in and in interpolate the data points such that each one of these years are about 12 data points out then in 2013 we have one month of values for each of the next four data points and you notice those are a lot closer over here on the right than each data point in between each year so Excel is gonna when you have a date value for your horizontal axis Excel is gonna span your data in the right proportion as well as it's gonna arrange your data uh, via the earliest date to the latest date so if you didn't know that Excel would do that now you do Please visit our blog at excel-boardtemplates.com. Also, don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel so that you get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.